Hey, Jim Terrell here. Welcome to Plymouth Spotlight. It is March 21st and we are in the middle of a heat wave. This is entirely unheard of weather here for Plymouth, New Hampshire. And I'm enjoying every single bit of it. I don't have a whole lot of use for winter to tell you the truth. I don't ski. I don't snowboard. My winter sport is the internet, I suppose. So I will take every single bit of this that we can get. It's a beautiful day for a walk. It's always a good day to listen to some New Hampshire music. Come on. Let's start things off by taking a look at a band called Grizzle. Now, if you watch the show, you've seen these guys before. They were on episode two, I believe it was. Brett Picknell and company have a new album coming out. And this is one of the songs from it. It's called Points of View.
when it comes to musical projects, Brett Picknell keeps himself pretty busy. Seems like he's always got an RPM challenge going on, the uh, music challenge that takes place uh, down in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, where you try to write and record an album in the month of February. He's been doing it as long as I can remember. And uh, one year, his project Backyard Media did an album upon which he enlisted my services. It was a lot of fun working with him. He and I and George Brown put together a song for the album called Whatever Happened to the Sun. Check it out. Any time in the last century, you've seen Louis Samaha's store. Bought my first pack of cigarettes here, in fact. I think I paid a dollar five. Uh, I'm kind of old though. So the RPM challenge was a good success for a great many musicians, Randy Johnson among them. This is a song he did for this year's project, and it's called Prove My Love. Yeah. 
Brooks. I'm walking around in sandals and a t-shirt and shorts here in central New Hampshire at the base of the White Mountains. And it is quarter of nine in the morning. Absolutely unprecedented heat here in Plymouth, New Hampshire. And I can't say it enough, I will take every single bit of it that we can get. Hey, look at that. Every Halloween, they put pumpkins up on the spire. It looks like one of them is still there. Probably froze solid this winter. You know, I like this town. When it comes to town commons, Plymouth's got a pretty good one. This is a nice place to be in the summer, that's for sure. And uh, you actually can catch music uh, played here on the common during the summers. I saw the Crunchy Western Boys play a show on a Wednesday night last year. My kids were hula hooping right over here. It was a fantastic time. I'm going to run a song from last year's St. Patrick's Day shows uh, that I played. Every year for the last, well, four years now, I've been able to stop by the studios of The Planet, 100.1 FM, and play my drinking songs live on the air. And this is one of the performances from last year. Um, <laughs> so uh, I got one more drinking song for you. All right. Uh, I want to do. I want to sneak one more in. And this is uh, uh, my philosophical uh, drinking song. This is uh, called Half Empty or Half Full. <laughs> and it, uh, attempts to answer the, the philosophical question right. from the bar stool. From the bar stool. Fabulous. Last night at Shooters, I ordered a drink, and the barkeep obliged with a curious wink. He sent it down to me, but to my dismay, he chose for some reason to fill it halfway. Well, I said to him, Johnny, where's the rest of me stout? And he said, that's a thing I've been thinking about. I'd like your opinion before you first pull. Is that pint half empty or is it half full? rum a dum daidle rum a dum dow Johnny, just send us another one down. I said, thinking games never interested me. In fact, drinking games are more my speed, you see. And he said this puzzle was one and the same, and that very idea was the point of the game. Well, I sat for a minute more, scratching me head, and my thirst overcame me, and finally I said, I'm drinking this whether you feel it or not, but pour me another and I'll give it some thought. rum a dum rum a dum dow Johnny, just send us another one down. Well, I got good and stiff half a pint at a time Sending the empty ones back down the line And seeing those glasses all scattered around Right there in an instant my answer I'd found Well, I told him it clearly depends who you are The hard-working tapper or the drunk at the bar To me there's no difference, but not so for you Cause you'll pour twice as many before I get through rum a dum daidle rum a dum dow Johnny, just send us another one down. rum a dum daidle rum a dum dow Johnny, just send us another one down. Yeah. Thank you. Yay. Thank you very much. Very nice. Oh, I appreciate it. It's always a treat to share my, my drinking stories with you <laughs> so that I can use you as a witness if it comes up later. <laughs> you can corroborate my story. I can. I will. That means a lot. It's a promise. Now let's take a look at a video from a recent open mic at the Country Cow up in Campton. Uh, I host it every Wednesday from 7 to 10, so if you're a local musician, it's a great way to get yourself on stage. And it's not a bad way to get yourself on Plymouth Spotlight, because I usually bring the video camera. And in this case, I got to record a song by Rick Clogston. Uh, a few weeks ago, he played a song for us on the show called Let's All Lie to the Pollsters. This is another clever tune of his design, and it's called Minivan Man. 
There's this gaping hole in American music. You've all heard songs like uh, Fun, 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 So Daddy Takes a T-Bird Away. Yeah. She's Real Fine, My 409, Dead Man's Curb, and all those hot rod songs. Yeah. <laughs> out there. And then a few years ago, country singer named Joe Dippy did the pickup man. Joe Dippy. But there's a large portion of American car culture that is yet to be celebrated in song. Till now. Woo. Till now. Right. <laughs> here at Plymouth Spotlight. Next week we're going to do things a little bit different. It was a great St. Patrick's Day for me. I played shows all over the state and I'm looking forward to showing you some of what happened. So next week I'm just going to run some drinking songs for you. How's that? Hey, it's my show. I can do what I want. You know, that brings up an interesting point. If you want to have your own show on Pemmy Baker Community Access Media, then what you've got to do is contact them by visiting their website and then they'll tell you what you can do. It's pretty easy because, frankly, if I can do it, anybody can do it. And hey, if you want to get your music on this show, just drop us a line, PlymouthSpotlight at gmail.com, and I'll let you know what you need to do. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting local music. See you next time.